What is up everyone? Faros here, picking right up where we left off with episode 2 of our Star Wars Let's Play. I'm going to try to bust out as many as um, levels as possible for this Let's Play. I am recording a little early. I actually just finished uploading the last one. wanted to get a jump start on this one. I did read some of the comments though, and you know, most people like it so far, that's cool. Well, we're going to start off by just running down to the Jedi Temple here. I'm just going to talk about a couple things while I do. Uh, a lot of people liked it, so that's good. It's getting some okay views. I'm happy with everything so far. If you guys do like this series, and uh, you know you have friends who like Let's Plays, or anything of the sort, uh, please feel free to tell your friends, You know, share it if you're my friend on Facebook anything like that uh, if you haven't if you didn't catch the announcement vlog I did link my Facebook in it so I could sort of like keep in touch with you guys through Facebook if you haven't friended me yet uh, you can go ahead and go back to that announcement vlog my Facebook is in the description there or I, I guess I could put it in this the description of this one this video as well but uh, yeah that's there you can share my videos on Facebook you know I really appreciate it guys because I'm doing work trying to you know grow my channel and, uh, you know, this Let's Play isn't just about growing my channel, you know, it's about showing you guys the game and even playing it with you, if, uh, for those of you who choose to, you know, come with, but I am, I am still always trying to grow my channel as much as possible, uh, no matter what I'm doing, so it's just, uh, I'm trying to juggle a lot of different things here, and if you guys could help me out with that, I would be so grateful, but I'm not going to talk about that all day, that's boring stuff, and I don't like talking about, uh, you know, benefiting myself all day anyway, so, moving on from that, let's talk about you guys a little bit, some of your guys' comments, like I said, they were good, a couple people said to, uh, keep the main storyline quest, and the dialogue, and you know keep that in the video and maybe skip through the side quest I think that's a pretty good idea I haven't done any of these side quests so I'd be missing out on them too if I skipped through them uh, I might watch through them myself and then fast forward it through the video real quick you guys if you're new to the game every time you see a new flight path like this which is the two arrows on your map or a new little teleport point which is a quick travel point you need to talk to the NPC it says right here you've discovered a new taxi terminal <laughs> You have to talk to the NPC, and then this thing you have to do a little cast, and this enables you to quick travel here. Uh, it's very important if see, you have discovered Jedi Temple. If you don't do that, you're going to miss out and uh, potentially cost yourself a lot of time because you won't be able to quick travel places or fly there when you need to. So that's just a little thing right here. we got a little side quest right here. Like I said, I might go ahead and leave them in for now. Just know, though, that the whole Let's Play they won't be in. Um, I am going to listen to your guys' feedback, but what I'm thinking real quick later on is that... Here, I'll go ahead and keep running for now. I'll catch that on the way out. But um, what I've been thinking is, later in the Let's Play, I might not even be doing side quests. You know, I might be leveling... Instead of doing side quests, I might be doing space missions or PvP to level up in. So maybe we should enjoy the let or maybe we should enjoy the side quest while they're here or maybe we should just skip through them. I'm still thinking. You guys said a couple of you said to skip through them. Uh, I, I do want to wait until more people comment so I can get like a a good um what do you call it like s sample size <laughs> for taking a little pull uh, and not just a couple people. But those of you who did comment that I am gonna try to. Maybe skip through a couple on this one just for you guys so we can keep things as fast as possible. This here is a story quest though. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. I was glad to help, Master. I've identified the holo projector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. 
What exactly did Rajavari do? Details of his life are maddeningly sparse. Rajavari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. You said Kalikori village isn't a legal settlement. I didn't think Tython had such laws. The Republic couldn't give the Twi'leks permission to colonize Tython. Too dangerous. But they came regardless. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the holoprojector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. Once the villagers understand That's the situation, I'm sure we can reach an accord. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Alright, good deal. So I got my story quest here, dinged level 3, and got myself some nice robes as well. And, ooh, well, they don't actually look cool whatsoever. They're not robes, it's a vest. <laughs> Downgraded style points, not, not happy about that. I'm going to go into these vendors. These symbols on the map right here are vendor symbols, and I'm going to sell some things, because you start off with a pretty, pretty small Best inventory, and Check. I don't like letting it get full, because... Appreciate your business. Always got to keep your inventory cleaned out if you want to, like, maximize your money gain. You know? So, because if you're getting it full, then you're not picking everything up. And while that takes time, you know, it also gets you a lot of money selling drops in this game. So, if you guys are wondering, though, money's not hard at all to make uh, later on. I've got, like, a million credits, literally, on my main <laughs> and not much to spend them on. So, credits aren't really a big deal. But yeah, um, as far as side quests go, and their dialogue, I think I'm going to try something just a little different. Instead of just mashing spacebar through them, I'm just going to like, kind of let you guys like read the text if you're wanting to know what's going on, and just like go through them um, sort of quickly, but I'm not going to just mash spacebar through it. So tell me what you guys think about this. Hey, Padawan. You must be the one Master Yu- Sorry. Babbling. Master Yuan said to remind you that she says a Jedi needs to learn martial skills and said that I should say you should. Thank you for passing along the message. Was there anything else? Oh, uh, right, right. Sorry, go weird. see Master Weddle in the temple. Ah! It doesn't look like much, but he'll... So I, sh I should have picked these up before I went in the temple. Derp. So now I'm going to have to head back in there. Sorry, guys. Once I get this next one, I'll... Uh, Fast forward my run back in there and get the next quest, so um, we can get right into the action for this episode, because I know the last one was a little lacking. I heard you begun your trials. Master Yuan says you show great, but some Jedi have the ability to do more. Help more people. Interested? What's the nature of this task? A war is brewing in the greater galaxy. The Sith Empire plots against the Republic, but not all who train to become Jedi are skilled combatants and leaders. Which is why we've created a simulation to test Jedi and Padawans and... You want me to participate in this simulation? That's what I'm asking. The droids here in the yard have been programmed to act according to Imperial Milit... Demonstrate your proficiency at defeating these droids and... Of course I'll do it. Excellent. The first set of training droids... I'm going to go ahead and do this quest right now. Tra training droids are right here. So as you guys see, I'm, uh, but with the cutscenes, I'm kind of going through them quick. I space bar once you guys have time to read the subtitles and get like the gist of what's going on. Um, but I'm not just mashing entirely, so we you know, still get a grip for the quest itself. So tell me what you think about that method. And uh, I'll, I'll continue to fine-tune things and adjust them as uh, the Let's Play continues. Throwing some rocks. What up? I'm assuming that thing died. Hell yeah, it did. That's it? Three little droids? That's all you got for me? That was my test! <laughs> Gonna need a better assessment than that, I'm telling them right now. Why isn't my sheath weapon works? It says not ready yet. Uh, hold the phone here. I think I got messed up keybind. Escalaneous. No movement. Okay, I'm not ready to unsheath my. Whatever. I'm impressed. Hopefully, we'll have something more challenging. 
That's it. Yeah, you better get something more challenging for me. Shit. Okay. So I'm running back inside the temple. Gonna go ahead and fast forward this and uh, put some music to it so you guys jam to this and I'll see you in the next quest. Completed mission, wisdom, wilda, wisdom of Elders, that was it. I just had to go in here and train something, so it was showing me where my trainer was, and that's it. I was a little <laughs> weirded out. I didn't start commentating again until after I realized I had completed the quest, because uh, I thought they were actually sending me back in there to do something, so. That's all good. The ability I got was Force Wave, which is an AoE knockback. Your guy jumps up, he comes back down, and knocks everyone around. Uh, knocks everyone back around him. That ability is super useful in PvP. Uh... Especially Hutball. If you guys haven't seen Hutball yet or any PvP from this game, I actually have commentaries on my channel already if you want to check them out. Uh, you just go to my channel page and scroll down a little bit on my videos and my uploads and um, you'll see a video called uh, Live Com like uh, Lightning Sorcerer PvP Live Commentary Hutball. And uh, that's one of the war zones which are like battlegrounds in this game if you played WoW or any other game with battlegrounds. but um. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's the PvP. Two teams go against each other, and it's almost like football. You get a ball, and you pass it back and forth. Like You can actually throw the ball at the people on your team. It's really sick. I, I, I love hot ball. It's my favorite war zone by far. But the knockbacks are cool because the map is so well set up in that game. There's lots of ramps that go way up in the air, and there's lots of, like... Like, they're not lava pits, but they're, like, poison pits that if you knock people into them, they take a bunch of damage, and there's fire like vents that come up so you can knock people into vents knock people into poison and stun them in there uh, which my class will be able to do and it's very effective in killing people so this little knockback is great for that it's huge ability in pvp i just put it on x because you know it's easy for me to hit you know my middle finger most of the times on w and if i need to knock somebody back it just goes two keys down and hits x so it's just that fast <laughs> To be able to do that. We're going into our next town here. Let's see. Gonna get some more side quests. This first area, you guys, 1 to 10, I'm gonna be doing a lot of side quests because I don't really have other options. I don't have my ship yet, you know, to do space missions. I don't have PvP yet, so I can't level through that. So there's gonna be a lot of side questing through this first zone. You're too late, Jedi. But after that, I'll be burying times. it up quite a bit. The flesh raiders already came. They already took their victims. My father knew these mountains. He helped guide the patrols. He wasn't young, but he deserves better than to be ripped apart. I'm just a Padawan. I'm not sure if I should intervene. Then while you're thinking, I'll... If you find him, if he's hurt or confused, you'll know... So I gotta find that guy's father. He's apparently like some badass Twi'lek war hero. Well, I guess not too badass. He got ripped apart by low-level mobs, but <laughs> for free. The festival only comes once a year. Our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. This is actually the class quest, so I'm gonna take my time through this one. I apologize for interrupting. Master Yuan Par asks if you've seen a Jedi holo projector. Huh. If Yuan Par is asking, guess we could try and remember. Best. A holo projector. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Nayland found one. Nayland Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? I haven't, but it sounds like he has a reputation. Nayland Rollick, our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from flesh raiders single handed. He planned our defenses, protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalen earns his peace and quiet. If you help me find that holo projector, the Jedi Council will hear of it. And we're generous to our friends. Ah, oh, you expect us to believe that? Shen, if the Jedi offer you a favor, you say yes. Okay, fine. Nalen went into the Flesh Raiders' territory. He's probably still there. He's been gone a while. 
then I should look for him. Enjoy your festival. I think nalan has got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. So I'm gonna go look for Mr. Twi'lek Champ. Nine years straight, that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully I end up dueling that guy to gain his respect or something. <laughs> Have like some epic battle at level four. Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble servant of the Matriarch. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I, I speak of the Flesh Raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger. You have my attention? The Flesh Raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. How did you learn of this? One of our warriors was captured by the raiders. We lack the numbers to attack the flesh raiders directly, and but with our warrior's help, the Jedi could reach the flesh raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Then I will make it happen. Thank you for this. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the raider's secret. So you guys see there are a lot of side quests in this game, but I just like gathering them all up at one time and then we can be knocking stuff out and get into the get into the commentary and whatnot. But this is a huge part of the game, you know, so if you're watching a Star Wars Let's Play, uh you're gonna you're gonna be seeing a lot of story like this and a lot of quests at more least in the early levels more I often than not. Corey, I, see. I am Yula Fan, Master of Rituals. You wish to participate in the ceremony, I presume? There's no doubt about it. Good. Together we'll bridge the gap between Pilgrim and Jedi. Many of your brethren, your Padawans, come to Kalakori to perform. Those who endure the ceremony are awarded an audience with Kolovish to receive her wisdom and her gifts. Who's Kolovish? What's the ceremony all about? Kolovish lives in the mountains above. Once our leader. Now she is our guide. You must Thousand carry steps. a burning Shit. brand and light the signals along the path. You must protect the flame from beasts and flesh raiders. If you wish, I will ignite the brand. It burn. I'm ready to carry the flame. But Go time. Light the first signal. First snake signal's right here. Am I really going to be climbing a thousand motherfucking steps? <laughs> what? He said... Um... Ooh, I I didn't actually turn in that quest way back when I got it in the temple. See, like I thought that was funny how that popped up and I didn't realize it. Hopefully there wasn't another one available to me back there or else things could have gotten out of order just now, but regardless, I'm not going back now. I'm gonna be knocking out some quests first. Right now we're running up this mountain. Man, I don't have the grass quality all the way turned out, but the grass even looks really nice in this place, like this starting area is a lot better than Korriban for the Sith Inquisitors. I like this area much, much more. It's much more detailed. And it's, it's definitely a lot better looking in my opinion. Taking care of those guys. Taking care of business. Are those guys protecting a chest? See something shiny? Yeah, that is a chest. The chests normally drop pretty good stuff in this game, you guys, so I'm definitely going to be taking them out. Here goes. I think starting off with telekinetic throw is probably a good idea. And then the knockback keeps them on the ground for a little bit, so like you can avoid a whole lot of damage just using all your abilities. Makes things nice, nice and easy. Uh, where am I going? Fleet Flesh Raiders, Slavers, and Slave Masters. So we got a bonus quest going on here. I guess I don't have tracked, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Why isn't it tracked? There we go. A 
first nice little bonus quest. Oh, did I get that chest back there? I don't remember... I don't remember looting it for some reason. Oh, I might have major derfed. <laughs> I'd go back and, chest, but I, or, and check, but I want to get this one before this dude comes up here and takes it from me. Because people do stuff like that from time to time and it's no good. Alright. Yeah, I, d I did get the last one. I remember I got a stem and a green out of it. I just didn't check my inventory yet. See if it was good. Gonna do that right now. Uh, let's see. I got some medium armor, which I cannot use. And more medium armor, which I cannot use. So that's just joy. Got better med packs. Put them on my bar as well and keep on rolling. That's a big old thing. Elder. Ook. a beast. <laughs> Fourth signal. Alright. More to go. It's probably going to be five, I bet. I'm going to try to get this wave of quests done for this episode. I don't like... Uh, I want to give you guys reasonably... Um, you know, like... A reasonable length in all the episodes I do. I don't want to drag things out too much. But I definitely want to get to, like, at least a wave of quest or, you know, a war zone or two. It'll be cool once I get PvP, because then I'll be able to do, like, a, you know, a war zone... An episode and stuff like that. Maybe a war zone, a couple quests. So, I think it'll get more interesting as I level up. The, the first couple episodes might not be the most interesting, but we'll try to manage through those and work from there. And again, any comments or anything you guys have are appreciated, and I'll try to learn from them as well. Excuse me, took a drink from my energy drink there. Gotta stay amped. Gotta, gotta stay amped. Speak to Clovis. New in here? Probably. I do really like the feel of these Jedi buildings and zones, though. Like, this is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna be liking this character a lot. I can't wait until I get 10 and get my proficiency, though, because Jedi Shadow just looks boss. You perform the right of the pilgrims well, Jedi. I saw the signal fires as you climbed the path. Very few of your kind. I am Kalovish, first matriarch and reader of the ancient texts. I... It's a privilege to meet you, matriarch. And it is my privilege to meet a Jedi who accepts our ways, even our own kind, the other Twi'leks. They mocked us and denied the authority of the matriarch. Now you've completed the ritual. And you are friend to the pilgrims. I am quite honored. Take these gifts. We have very little, as you must. Is there anything I can do to help? Remember us. And remember. Go to your duties now. And. She was a kind alien. Kind of matriarch. There's level 4 nice. We're busting out a couple on this one. Liking it. Think we can make this jump, you guys? Uh, it's looking kind of high. I'm going to try to use my force powers and slide down this thing. Oh, man. I'll feel like a huge noob if I die. Oh, yes. I didn't think I'd die. Hell, yeah. We can take a little fall. A little fallsy. All right. Uh, check this out. We can quick travel back here, I think. No, that's undiscovered. Is it? Is it? Could have swore I got that. Hold up. No, I don't have the one below me. Okay, never mind. We're running. We're running this shit. Let's go. <laughs>
but I can pay you credits, republic credits. The elixir I don't can care about credits, stuff. man. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. Imagine if the elixir can make a flesh reader powerful. Bring Shit's it unnatural. You will be rewarded, praised. Worse than roids, man. No, that shit's got to be destroyed. The elixir to the pilgrims. Fine. Obey the orders of an old woman and destroy the elixir. But pilgrim blood is on your head. The elixir is in the caves beyond our village. I doubt Jedi can even come close to the vats. All right. We're about at 30 minutes, but I want to get some more quests in, so this... This episode might run to like 45 minutes as well. Then again, once I edit and um, speed up some running phases, we won't actually be at 30 minutes. I'm looking at a little stopwatch this time. Trying to keep better track for you guys. I'm trying to do this really as best as I can. But uh, yeah, so we've actually got time to finish up this round of quests. Hopefully get level 5 and call it there. So, yeah, running... We gotta find Tazantha Gant's father. That's right, we got that quest earlier. Dude's gonna be up here, I guess. Look, now he's further down the road. What is that? Data pad. Oh no, it's by skeleton shit. This could be him. Oh, it is him. Oh no! <laughs> the patrol is too far away. I can't. Damn. Goodbye, my son, my matriarch. Goodbye. Damn, dude, and he's a skeleton. That's all fucked up. Oh. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, that's that quest. Okay. Next one. Strength of the flesh raiders. Yeah, let's go knock that out. We gotta do in here. Destroy a leak, sir. That's right. This guy thinks he's got bubbles. Nah, no, not today. And we're gonna go ahead and do this bonus because, like I said in my last episode, I really like the whole bonuses. I love my bonuses. And I love throwing shit out of the ground. <laughs> Think this is one of the elixirs? Yeah. All right. This will be pretty easy then. Uh, I guess we should go in here to do it. There's probably not as many camps outside. Although there looks to be some. I don't know. I'll check in here anyway. See if there's anything else. Destroy elixirs. It doesn't seem there's anything uh, special inside the cave, but I'll go ahead and do it in here anyway. Damn. Get all flips and shit. We're not just destroying them, we're destroying them with style! <laughs> I should probably mash on my harder abilities more. I just feel like I don't want to burn the force, but I don't know why. It just comes back anyway. I just see a dude run right by this guy. He didn't aggro him. Whatever. Force rocks! If you guys notice, uh, I only use my keybinds, man. Wow, and of course they'd all pop up right in front of me. But I never keep, I never uh, click anything. I really hate clicking. If you're wondering what my right hand's doing, I have both my fingers on my mouse at all times, and I move my character a lot of the time. I still use WASD, but a lot of the time I'm moving my character with my mouse just by holding down left click and right click at the same time. And then uh, every time I'm turning my character, Unless I'm like scratching my face or something. Every time I turn my character, it's with my mouse, and that's why I'm able to turn so fast. But yeah, that's that. Just thought I'd throw that in there if you were. Ooh! <laughs> he got rocked! <laughs> Sorry, but I, I love one shotting things with project. That's probably my favorite thing to do on this character. But uh, yeah, if you're just wondering how I'm, I'm controlling anything, or if you're like, damn, you know, that looks cool, that is how I'm doing it all. All about them keybinds. I don't like clicking. It's, uh, just, it's too slow for me, you know? And I can't run around and do stuff like this while I'm clicking, so. Not as well, anyway. Alright, that's the elixir, so I'm gonna go ahead and start running my way out, because I only gotta kill four more flesh raiders, and I'll probably run into some on the way out, so. So, gargle my force rocks! <laughs> 
I actually has I aggroed uh Gulpshade has joined the channel. Ag someone's joining my vent channel. Sorry about that guys. I actually aggroed a pat here, so we'll see if I can might have to med pack. I'm gonna go ahead and med pack right now. See having that bound definitely comes in useful. I don't know why I was trying to kite, because these guys, you know, just stand their ground and chase me anyway and I have no heals or anything so definitely don't try to kite <laughs> when you have no abilities to kite with <laughs> that almost got me killed and it's just getting the silver elite in the group at the same time but able to live all thanks to having your med pack bound I used my strong one but uh, I still got two weak ones left so that just shows you guys the value of that rather than if I had to click it or you know bring it up out of my inventory I might not have lived right there he just stunned me. Man, telekinetic throw does so much damage. So Gold much damage. That's, that's probably the most damaging ability. The guy who just joined my vent is actually a good friend of mine. Uh, sorry, Skullshade, if you watch this, you know I'd totally hang with you. You know I would, man, but I'm just in the middle of this let's play. <laughs> Don't want to be... Um, having a bunch of new voices and stuff in here quite yet I wanna definitely get into the routine of things and then if you guys would like to see and like hang with my friends and stuff in the let's play that'll definitely be in here soon enough and if I end up playing with any of you guys if you guys roll here you can find yourself in these as well so um, like I said in my first episode and in my vlog that uh, any anybody who wants to join is free to join me and level up with me just a point upon uh, making a character, just add Falros to your friends list. It's spelled the same as my YouTube name. You see it right down here. And type in slash C join TTTT. And that will put you in the TTTT channel where we can all talk in. I should still be in it. Hold the phone. It's not here. My chat settings don't s save right now. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. In case you missed it in the last episode, you just type in slash C join space TTTT. It'll join that. I'm in here. I'm going to say, hey, guys. And it gives us our own little chat channel. So do that. Make a character. Hit me up, and we'll get some stuff rocking. Be all good from there. I don't think anyone's in here because the Let's Play hasn't gotten too many views yet, and probably not a lot of people know about it. But Oh, there is somebody in here. Check it out. <laughs> Nemera. Nemeria. Look at that, dude. Someone's in the channel. I'm gonna talk to him real quick. That's awesome. I'm I'm kind of sad I wasn't in there the whole time. I don't know why my chat settings didn't save. Uh, sometimes the interface interface uh, settings and um, you know your like keybinds and not keybinds, but sometimes your bars won't save and sometimes your. Uh, your chat settings won't save in this game and other, other interface options. It's all stuff they're working on, you know, it's just we gotta deal with it for now, but it's pretty cool that uh, I got in here and there's somebody actually in here. Hello, sup, I'm actually watching your first Let's Play on my other monitor at the moment. So cool, man. Huge shout outs to Nemeria. Thanks for being in the channel and thanks for checking out my videos. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. I happened to run into somebody during the Let's Play, so... That's cool. I'm gonna ask if he or she has a channel. I was just asking if he has a, or he or she has a channel on YouTube, and if they do, since they're checking it out, man, they can go ahead and say it in the chat, and you guys will see. Check them out if you want. Uh, that's cool. She'll be or he. It's like a female name. I always get wigged out. A lot of dudes like to make female characters, so I don't know if it's actually a guy or a chick. I should probably just ask, but it's all good. I'm gonna friend him right now, either way. Nemeria. Level 1 Jedi Consular, nice! <laughs> Such a cool guy, love your vids. Yeah, well, you're a cool guy or a cool chick yourself, man. Thanks for checking them out again. <laughs> Man, this made my day, for real. 
All right, so what are, what are we moving on with the let's play here? What are we doing? So hey, but for real, like this this is not staged, by the way. That person just happened to be in here, and I'm stoked. Like, uh, and you you guys, the rest of you viewers are more than welcome welcome to come by. You see, like you won't be behind. I'm playing really casually, like I said in my first episode. I'm leveling a little bit at a time, trying to get you guys just consistent videos every other day or so. Mary right now is level one. I mean, you've got plenty of time to catch up and just hang with us. So if this is your sort of thing, you think this is cool, make a character, friend up Faros, friend up Numeria, and as soon as you get into the game, again, type in slash C join space four T's, and then um, you'll be able to hang with us. So what is this here? This is the holocron I'm looking for. By the way, guys, there's things called data datacrons in this game. They actually look just like this little holocron, this little box. Come for a flesh raider, I find a Jedi Padawan. Let's see what this guy has to say. This is the champion, I think. To think among the dead. To fight for my people. Why have you come? The villagers said you'd taken this hollow projector, Nayland, and told me where to find you. I suppose they spun the tale of me being a legendary protector, too. They don't understand. Are the flesh raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Once you become this great defender, what's the next step? We make Tython ours. No Jedi, no Republic. Our world to plow and harvest and defend. Hmm. I don't know if I like the sound we of that. The flesh raiders to extinction and laugh. Rajavari showed me how to punish them. This guy's kind of a badass, though. Check him out. Oh, damn! <laughs> This guy's serious business. The flesh raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. You'll get us both killed. There are hidden wonders, Jedi. Calm down, bro. And my journey has just begun. Now run or die. Oh, that sounded a little bit like a threat to me. I'm not sure if I like that. And he just books it? Okay. Wow, really? And then I got... <laughs> alright. That's alright. I'll just, like, run and kill him at the same time. It's all good. Oh, uh, shit. I wonder if this is really timed and gonna fall on me. Like, Bioware does epic shit like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and run my ass through this just in case. <laughs> Come at me, Flesh Raider. Oh, man. I gotta loot, though. I'm so greedy. I do have time. What's the bonus? Defeat. I gotta kill two more? That's fine. That's mad easy. I hope I didn't pass him, though. I would have really liked it if, like, uh, the rocks hurt you. And, like, maybe you could see shadows or something that they were about to fall and you had to dodge them. That would be... That would be really cool. But, um, it seems they're just... For aesthetics, but it's it's still cool. I still like this quest. It's pretty hype. And they should have put a timer on it too. Like you had to make it out in you know a minute and a half or something, or you were toast. <laughs> All right, so we made it out. Uh, met a crazy ass Twilek and aggroed some mobs on accident. Once I kill these, I'm gonna quick travel back, turn in the quest, get the next wave for you guys, and then um go ahead and wrap up this episode. This has been a pretty good one, I think. I think it started off a little slow, and I'm sorry about that. Tried to spice it up, you know, but, you know, it is what it is at these low levels. There's not too much exciting stuff. Kind of just got to do what we do. Shoutouts again to Nemeria, though. It was cool we got to meet him or her. You're going to have to tell me in the next video whether you're he or she, because your name, it, it just throws me off. I always, it's always safe to assume it's a guy, because it's the internet, so forgive me for that. But, um, yeah, also, you guys, <laughs> we're using our quick travel here. I think quick travel's on your bar by default, so you you know, you should know what that ability is. It just, like I said, lets you teleport to where you're, um, wherever you have a quick travel point. So, we make use of it there and head back to turn in these quests. 
going to go ahead and get these turn-ins rocking, and yep, then that'll be the end of this episode. Eli, Let's see what this guy back. has to say, though. What happened out there? Where's my father? Uh, he, uh, is fighting valiantly still. Wow, in my bags is a response. That's, uh... He's <laughs> at peace now. I brought you his ring. I brought you his skeleton. No. That's left of him. Shit. Those monsters. God, this guy's gonna... Tell me you cut them into pieces for what they did. I went out there to save a man's life, not to satisfy your thirst for blood. So you let those monsters live? I should be grateful to you for finding out the truth, but you desecrate my father's hey, memory. Hey, man, I didn't, I didn't mean to desecrate. It's not what it was about. Mourn your father and move on, before anger consumes you. That's the Jedi way, though. I don't counsel, Jedi. Leave me to grieve. We won't speak again. He's a little salty, but you know I can, I can understand that. Not gonna not gonna give him too hard of a time there. <laughs> I should have just been like, no, your dad's in my bag. Seriously, <laughs> I can't believe that's an option. <laughs> the hell, man! All right, let's see. Here. We got one more turn in, and then we'll, it's back to the temple. You look well, Jedi. I'm glad the flesh raiders didn't hurt you. Thanks. Did you destroy the Dark Elixir? Yeah. I've taken care of things. You've rid the world of an evil thing. The Flesh Raiders may brew their Dark Elixir again, but we won't make it easy. I am grateful for what you've done. Take this gift with my blessing. For now, I leave you in peace. She said peace off and gave me some robes. Nice! Oh, and we're ending this episode with level 5, and I hope these pants look cool. They're not robes, but yes! They're close enough. I look awesome. Well, I don't want to say awesome, but I look at least cool once again. My guy doesn't look like he's some random ass civvy running around in normal ass clothes. So hopefully you guys liked this episode. Again, sorry if it's a little boring. I'm trying to do what I can here. Um, Best post exchange maybe you can cut me a little slack and <laughs> you know no I'm not gonna ask for slack you know this is I set out on this mission and I'm gonna do it as best as possible and not asking for any slack but um no hopefully you guys can manage to enjoy the first couple levels you know I know they are going a little slow but stay tuned keep following the let's play hopefully the commentary enjoys you guys and hopefully you come and join us Come join me and Maria and Zaldiel and other Faros and friends and, you know, level along with us. That definitely makes things interesting. Uh, the quests are definitely interesting to me. I'm having a fun time still leveling. It's just uh, a lot of it's running around at this point, but I get sprint at level 14. So I'm going to try to get level 14 real fast. I'm going to give you guys videos like every other day, at least until I get up to level 14 or 25 when I get my speeder. And then running around won't take so long. and It'll be lots of action, lots of killing, lots of ownage all the time. But I am going to wrap up this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and... Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favorite. And until then, you guys take care. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.